Hello, my name is Kainton, and today I'm going to take you through how to solve a typical interview question. So this is a coding interview question, sort a binary array. So this could be asked by Google, Amazon, or, or Microsoft. So it's better you know exactly how to do it. And I'm actually going to take you through how to do this step by step, step by step. And then we are going to write the program in Python. Also, step by step, I'm going to explain everything. So the question goes like this. Uh, sort a binary array in linear time that is order of n time and constant space. The input, sample input 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and then it's, the output is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So how do we solve this array uh, in linear time? Linear time means you need to iterate this array uh, once. There is no nested loops. So the first thing we are going to do now is going to we are going to analyze this problem and see how we can solve it in linear uh, linear time and constant space means you are not going to use auxiliary storage uh, additional storage device, uh, storage memory we are going to sort this array in place. So uh, let's get into the approach we are going to use. Let me take an uh, ink. Okay, let's take base. All right. So basically. The approach is to actually uh, iterate through this array once, and then we are going to count the number of zeros. If we count the number of zeros, uh, we now place the zeros in the beginning of the array, and whatever is left, we now fill it with one. So actually, the running time of this array is going to be n plus n, because the first n is when you are counting the number of zeros, the second n, uh, actually the first n is when you count the number of zeros and each zero you see you are you are placing it in the in the first part of the array. And the second n is when you are counting and then filling the remaining part of the array with one. So let's say you have two iterators. This is j is going to count the zeros that has been seen so far. So it's going to count zeros so far and then i sorry i is going to be a loop a variable so this j starts from zero because initially we've not seen any zero so at this point we have zero and j is zero so if it comes here array i i at i index mean that i is equal to zero assuming this array is a okay so at this point where i is equal to zero j is equal to zero and then we have a i is equal to zero as well we now move the move a i to position j so i'm going to just write the pseudo code and then we see how it works <clears throat> so the first thing we do is to initialize two variables i is equal to zero and j is equal to zero now we are going to say for i from is equal to uh, zero to to the length of the array Okay, length of array A. Now, what we are going to say is if we see a zero, if if AI, if we see a zero, which is if AI is equal to zero, we are going to do two things. We are going to move that zero to the uh, position of the beginning that is a position z or j because j is one so we are going to move that zero to position one so we are going to say a j is equal to zero and then we are going to say j plus plus all right so let's exit from this uh if statement here so now we now increment i. Of course, i is incremented already. So after now, we are going to 
uh, stop. So this is basically how the first part of the program works. So after this program runs, we will have zeros in the first part of the array. Of the, array. the second loop will now go from for j uh, for i is equal to to j plus one all the way to uh, a dot length or length of the array. It can be a dot length. So j plus one means because after this after this point we now have zero 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 because this is zero now. This is zero. This is zero. Right? And now also here remains because it doesn't change it. One zero zero. Zero 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 zero. Yeah, fine. So the first part of the loop only places zero in the right position. So the next part of the the array is going to just take a uh, replace one in the remaining part. So it's going to go from J, which is J is the number of zero here, from J uh, starts from here all the way to the length. So it's going to just say a j is equal to zero. So there are two parts. The first part uh, insert zero. Uh, every time you say zero, move that zero to the beginning. And the second loop uh, insert one in the remaining part of the array from j plus one. This is going to be clearer if we write this code in Python and actually see how it works. So let me end this presentation and then uh, let's write uh, this in Python and see exactly how it works. Now let's use a function. Let's take out this. Use a function. So I'm going to write a function df. Let's call it sort binary array. So this function is going to take an array A. Let's call it A. Mm -hmm. So we initialize two variables, j is equal to 0, i is equal to 0 as well. I hope you are following. So we now use a loop to loop through the array the first time. So we say while uh, i is less than or i is not equal to, so not equal to, uh, is not equal to, a length of a mm -hmm. while i is not equal to the length of the array a we are going to now check if if the item at that index i is zero so we're going to say if item at index i is equal to zero what we are going to do is to move it all the way to the beginning so at this point we have zero to be the position of j so we say a j equal to zero. And then we are going to increase j by one. j is equal to j plus one, all right? So, okay, this is lowercase a. This is lowercase a as well. Python is case sensitive, take note of that. So at this point, we now increase i because we we are out of this if statement, so we are going to say i is equal to i plus 1 or i plus plus, either way you would like to write it. I'm just uh, writing it uh, for clarity, i plus 1. So at this point, we finish with the first part of the uh, uh, program. So let me put annotation here so that it becomes clearer. Uh, so number of zeros so far. Uh, this is just loop variable that loops uh, through the array. Alright, hope we are not missing out anything. So the next part of the, the loop, we are going to now replace uh, 1 in the second part of the array. That is at the position of j plus 1 till the end, we replace with 1. So it's going to go this way. Um, uh, for i in... range uh, starting from j plus 1 what am I doing? plus 1 all the way to length of a ok 
Because remember that I'm still writing uh, on that this uh, function, the sort binary array. So I'm going to put this colon. Uh, am I mistaking anything? I think all that plus one. I think everything is okay. For J resolve reference, I think everything is okay. So um, we are now going to say a i is equal to zero. All right. So basically, this is everything we need to do uh, here. So we are going to test this program to see if it actually works. i is equal to i plus one. Okay, so I think everything is okay. Um, so let's create an array. Uh, let's say we create an array. Just why is this giving us problem here? Okay, so let's indent this a little more. No. Okay, so I think we are okay. Alright, so let's create an array ARR. First, let's print, let's create an array AR is equal to uh, fill it with something 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. <coughs> so, first, I'm going to print this array, print AR. So, let me run it to make sure everything works. So, I'm going to run it. Right, so it says uh, for it have for i in range, okay, and then, then there's not much any alpha in then level, okay. Okay, sorry. So um, this actually should move a bit further. So good. So so let's run again. I'm going to run. Alright, so you can see that it prints out the array on sort it. So let's now sort, uh, use our function to sort it. So let's say sort binary array AR, and I'm going to print it out again after sorting. So I'm going to print AR. So let's see if it works. Right, so we have some challenges here. So it actually sorts the first part works, but the second part doesn't. Okay, so let's go correct this all right so see where the problem is coming from um, for i in range j plus one to length of a a i is equal to zero so wait let's see for i Okay, so at this point we are going to reinitialize i to zero, i equal to zero. So um, really, no, i should not be zero. Okay, so a i is equal to all right for i in range j plus one to length of a. Yeah, uh, AI. Oh, sorry. AI should be one, not zero. So AI should be one because we are placing one in the remaining part of the array. So let's run it and see. So you can see this is exactly what we want to achieve. It worked perfectly. So you can see it's sorted uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll make this code available for you in, the, in my website. Look at the descri description box. You see a link where you can get this code and use it. And then uh, also you may like this video and share it around with your friends if, if you would like. I'd like to thank you for viewing. So we'll see you now. That's perfect.